Hello everyone, my name is Eve, and today I'll be doing a sketchbook tour from 2022 to 2023. Uh, it took me an entire year to finish this sketchbook, plus a few more days, but uh, I think this is a very successful sketchbook. As you can see, it's pretty much breaking, you know, it's like, it's been through a lot. So I thought it'd be fun to go through it and, you know, start off maybe something new with the YouTube video. I've never done one before, so please excuse um, the lack of YouTube-ish equipment because I'm literally holding this, uh, my camera, with my hand. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to deal with that. But, um, so this is my sketchbook cover. Uh, these are, this is a sticker I designed, so, um, in my graphic design class. These are graphic design students that also made stickers. Uh, got this onion sticker from a blind bag and most of these stickers I just either bought from like five below or like printed out on like some sticker paper that I had And I have a pretty sticker um, On the back just a bunch of random stickers. I've collected over the years um, a Kermit sticker my friend gave me um, Another graphic design student. I made this one um, with my own sticker paper and my art teacher actually gave me this sticker, which is really beautiful. So, let's get into it. So, these are my goals. Uh, I didn't really stick to them all that much, but that's why I put highly suggested at the top. Because honestly, I don't tend to stick to goals, you know. Uh, I find them kind of restricting, but I also feel like they give good backbone. So, like, you know, it, it helps, kind of. Um, as you can see, I started this April 26th, ended it in, uh, April 29th, 23. So, yep, it took me a whole year and three days. I was hoping to finish it by the 26th, because it would have been funny, but, um, you know, didn't happen, so I guess I can't change that. Uh, nothing on the first page, because uh, I, I can't commit to first pages. So, yeah, I'll be doing quick flip-throughs, so my OC kid, um, my OC Cleo, and this is his group, you know, uh, you'll be seeing a lot of them later on, so I'll explain them, but, you know, he's one of my main OCs, along with these other three OCs. Uh, Little Nightmares, one of my favorite games that I've ever played, uh, I got this on the Switch, I think, for my birthday, uh, I can't remember the date that I got it, but I, I remember I got this Switch game for my birthday and I absolutely love it. And I absolutely love Mono and Six. Mostly Mono though. Uh, this is a test page. Um, this is, yeah, it's basically just a test page, testing out all the markers, pens, what works and what doesn't work on this paper. By the way, this is an ELO sketchbook, eight by eight. Um, I forgot how many pages or what the GSM is, but it's it's a really, really good sketchbook. Sadly, couldn't find one on Amazon as of now. Um, they don't have it, but I'm hoping I can get it from their website. And uh, to be honest, I had to order like, oops, sorry. I had to order like a dupe basically for my current sketchbook that I'm using right now, which is sketchbook number 12. I think I forgot to mention, uh, this is sketchbook number 11. So yeah gone through quite a few but yeah uh test page you know testing out the paper and whatnot uh again my angel kitty is he like you saw on the back sticker uh, designed her during my studio art class i think she came out pretty cute yeah. i don't draw her as often anymore but you know it was nice to make her design uh in classic art thumbnails um uh, Basically just like wax art. We had like little blocks that we would uh, melt wax and use like the wax paint brushes to like paint stuff on it. I have some examples, but I just can't bother to grab them right now. <laughs> so you'll have to like wait and see them. But yeah, my OC Derp and my OC Jonah. Uh, these are Instagram doodle requests, uh, which by the way, I'll put my Instagram up right now. I don't know where, but I'll put it up on the screen. Um, but yeah, these are my doodle requests that I've got. So I got Psyche, Silly Moon, My Neighbor Totoro, uh, a lot of other ones from shows I don't really know, but I still drew them because they look cool. And uh, actually, I'm not gonna flip that. I, I'm too embarrassed to flip that. 
uh, D. Luke and uh, Moose pulling a baby penguin on the sled because that was a request. Um, these are just like I forgot what it says. These are like um, I forgot what what paper what type of paper this is. Oh, cardstock, cardstock. So I had like these little rectangles, random rectangles of a uh, cardstock lying around. So I decided to like set them up on a page and just draw all over them. So yeah, these are like facial practice expressions. I'm not really good at realism, but you know, for ninth grade me, it was pretty nice, I guess. Sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> this is a watercolor from the same drawing that I did on the back here. It looks different, but I still really like how it looks. Um, the paper was super nice. Um, and overall, like, for some reason I asked my teacher what kind of paper this was, and I think all she said was Ross, that she found it at Ross. <laughs> so I'm really curious to find that paper again. Um, this is just a random drawing that I did. Um, there was supposed to be a flower here, but it got really, like, icky and turned brown, and it was, like, mucking up the page. So I just decided to, like, take it off and start new. And so I just did, like, a reference, like... Pinterest reference or whatever. Oh, yeah. Uh, my OC, Alan. Uh, he's one of my... He's from another universe that I have with uh, Derp. My OC Derp. Um, but yeah, he's a, he's a pretty cool guy. He's like the emo nerd, kind of. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is like a skateboard. Uh, his favorite stuff. A little bit about him. If you want to pause and read it, you can pause and read it. But these are... These descriptions are kind of cringe, honestly. I don't like how I described him, but uh, words tend to come out better in my head than they do in writing. So I <laughs> guess that's just how it works. Yeah, this little TV version of him I love so much. Like I love this little version so much. Anyways, Poopy. Uh, I really like this watercolor doodle, really don't. And this one's okay, don't like this one. And I honestly don't like the rest of the page, uh, except for Kirby. Kirby's kind of cute, but not much to say here. So I'll just flip. Uh, my Spy Family page. Uh, yeah, these are just some artworks that I did digitally that I stuck on here. And specifically these two. I, I don't know why, but maybe it was because Spy Family had recently come out. But these two, like, um, screen cap redraws that I did turned so viral so fast i was like gobsmacked at how how like viral it went i don't know how many likes they got i can't count it but you know for some reason people really like that drawing and no other post of mine has gotten that much attention so yay i'm really happy i made this one um some anya and lloyd fan art i did your hair but uh i covered her up because i don't like how she looks uh, I'm gonna skip this page. This page is kind of boring. Um, I drew Octagawa. This is one of my favorite doodles on the page. It's Octagawa. And yeah, basically just doodles on my OC kit. And like I said, Scarlet. Uh, these are doodles of my OC Jonah, who is in an AU where she's like a guitar player in her alternate universe which I thought was very fitting because she's like kind of the quiet, shy nerd. So like giving her a rocker's guitar would be like pretty, pretty ironic. But you know, I feel like it suits her a lot, like her, her guitar and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then this one I did with highlighters and a black. Um, this one, I think it was this one. Yeah, Prismacolor and uh, I mean, I like the colors on the page, but I just don't really like the character. Like, I, I, I used to really like it, but now I don't because the character looks super ugly to me now and uh, definitely have improved. So I might think about redrawing this one, but I'm not sure. Um, these are just random doodles that I did in class. So I did this one at home, random doodle. I forgot this guy's name. Uh, and some Edward Scissorhand doodles. Oh my goodness. I love Edward Scissorhands. See, I watched Edward Scissorhands for like the first time. Like I had never seen it before. 
And then one random day, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna watch it because it was on Disney Plus. And I immediately fell in love. Another found family trope, baby. Yeah, this is a uh, my notebook cover that I just stapled on here from ninth grade. Um, so yeah, once uh, school ended, I just like ripped my notebook cover out and decided to stick it on here. Random sticky notes, don't wanna go through those, honestly. And these are like bad pages, so I'm just gonna like go through them really quickly. If you want to pause, you can pause. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it for these ones. Uh, lots of school doodles that I just cut out. Uh, usually through the end, by the end of the school year, like I go through my doodles and like I choose the ones that I like the most and I stick them on my sketchbook. And then the other ones, I kind of put them on an envelope, which you'll see later here. It's an acrylic painting. Uh, more doodle requests. Um, so a character from IDV, I forgot her name. Um, I don't know. Uh, random school, random lyrics from a song. Uh, Shaggy and Scooby, Child, D. Luke, um, Cat Noir and Ladybug, Kazuha. <laughs> My favorite one of these all, uh, the Shrek Riz, Shrek pickup line. Not gonna read it, but <laughs> I felt pretty proud of that one. Um, but yeah, this one, I can kind of skip it. Like I said, I stick school doodles in like an envelope. Like, yeah, maybe pick out one. These are some cool doodles I did. But yeah, I'm not gonna go through all of these. I'll, I'll put you back later. I swear. Okay, just flip. <laughs> oh yeah, the Sonic page. Okay, this is where it starts getting just a teensy bit better, but not like as good as the last few pages. But um, I kept seeing a bunch of like Sonic artists pop up on my for you page for some reason because maybe I just clicked on one and it decided to give me like a heck of a lot more but I don't know it's a little a little sonic blip of hyperfixation <laughs> so I tried doing a little sonic OC it didn't work uh I drew shadow kind of like tall ish because those are the kinds of styles that I was seeing so I'm like okay I didn't know what outfit to do him in so I just searched up a random Pinterest outfit and called it a day uh, I don't like how Sonic turned out, but I really do like how Shadow looked. And yes, just a little doodle. <laughs> Love you, Sonic fans. Um, this is like, I was kind of going through like a frustrating period in like, during these few pages, cause like, I honestly had no idea what to draw. And especially when I did, I couldn't like, draw it the way I wanted to so this is literally me just ranting about how bad my art was coming out so yeah uh, random dumb cat doodles uh I drew on this rest uh, receipt but I don't want to unfold it because it has information so I'm not gonna do that uh but some random french doodles that I did in french class Lloyd uh, side profile Lloyd that I actually absolutely hate and I wish I could cover that <laughs> I don't want that to see the light of day and this fish, which got turned into a sticker, which I'll show later. I'm gonna skip a page here. Um, but yeah, uh, not much to say about this page either. Just a bunch of random trash. Uh, lots of memoirs that I have here. Uh, a friend uh, gave me a drawing uh, that she drew like a while ago. So I chose to redraw it. It was pretty fun. Um, I was sick at this time, so I did, like, tissue couture, you know? For some reason, I decided, like, hey, I have a pile of tissues next to me. What can I imagine out of that? And so I did tissue fashion. So, yeah. I mean, like, a little list of songs that I was listening to at the time, I think. Oh, my English doodle page. Okay, so this page is kind of messy, but I really like the doodles that I have on it, because, um... English class was like my favorite. It was the class that I would doodle in. It was like the peak class where all my doodles just came out exactly how I wanted them to and like exactly like the way that I imagined them. So this one, I actually have a print of it, 
uh, I scanned it and then did it digitally so I'll put that up on screen if my editing skills allow me to and uh yeah just a bunch of like English doodles that I have so like okay stuff I was I thought I was so good at Bulba perspectives I really am not but yeah my OC Ellis um, not much to say about that, but that's it. Uh, figure drawing page from a figure drawing club. Don't want to touch on this page tonight, so that's it. That's all you get. Um, this page, um, this half I was, uh, deciding on a logo for my graphic design class because we had an assignment to figure out a logo. So, yeah, these are just all of my ideas. Um, don't worry, this is not a real trigger warning. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Just a cute little clown picture, you know? Little clown girl. That's it. Uh, an OC that I drew like once and then I never drew again, obviously, because I like to do that sometimes. I either heavily stick to an OC or I just don't stick to an OC at all. Oh, yeah, and this is where my pages start getting better on this next one. Um, okay, this page, whoo boy. This one was my favorite page. For the longest time, like I can't even explain how much happiness this page brought me. <laughs> Cause it all started out with like this little doodle right here. And then it just completely spread into like chaos and all that kind of stuff. But I really like how it happened. How like, how it turned out, you know? I think it came out really nice. I love the colors, love the spread. But unfortunately this is not my favorite spread anymore. But I still like it, it still has its little thing. And obviously I had to stick in like a phone case. Cause obviously you can't, you can't go in a sketchbook without sticking a phone case in it, you know? Oh yeah. So this page was mostly like, how am I gonna explain it? Um, oh yeah. So like I had fourth grade. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My brain is just not working right now. It's a, it's a weekday, you know? I don't know why, but um, these are from fourth grade comics that I had. So uh, during fourth grade, I would like make comics about a little character of Bean and Tamale. Or, I got to mixed up. Bean and Tamale. Yeah, I'm sorry. You see, my brain's not working today, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I have no brain cells literally every day. So this is just how it is. Um, but I... I don't know why, but I just decided to like bring it back up again because uh, me and my friend were like joking about something and then all of a sudden like our old comic books from like fourth grade popped up into the conversation. I'm like, hey, what if I just completely revamped the entire series and turned it into like this magical girl anime kind of thing? So this is how this page turned out. It's just a lot of planning, a lot of like character design, basically, if they were humans. I really love this doodle right here. Like this one's my favorite. Um, it's like an evil principle. That's a butterfly. <laughs> More on this later. Um, thank goodness I censored this. <laughs> it's not really nothing bad, it's just like a butt. But, ha, you see what I did there? Eh, I'm childish. I have a childish sense of humor. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, this is like a page I was supposed to finish, but I like never did. It was supposed to be like a like a one-time kind of thing, so I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna draw something in the sketchbook, I will do a finished full piece. And then it never happened, but that's okay, because it's a sketchbook, so we're just gonna move on. Um, yeah, this is like a dump page. I used old markers that I had here from like sixth grade. Somehow, some of them were still alive, so I was grateful for that. Um, Literally stuck a bunch of Pocky in here. Like, uh, trash. A Niku drawing that I did here. And uh, yeah, an acrylic painting with acrylic paints that I've had since like fifth grade. More Mono and Little Nightmares fan art. And my OC Scarlet again, you see. Because character design is getting a little better. Uh, just a bunch of like random stuff. Oh yeah, and uh, Extraordinary Attorney Wu, like the title. Because I had recently watched that, and it was my first uh, K-drama, and I actually really enjoyed it. It was funny. Uh, I can't really say much about it, because like, I don't want to spoil it, but it's a, it's a really good. It's funny, wholesome. 10 out of 10. 
but I'm probably just saying that because it's my first K-drama I've ever watched, so I don't know how good my tastes are, but I do think it's a really good, good show. Oh, um, another character design page. It's like a evil doctor villain for like my um, group of four. So like Kit, Ava, Jonah, and Scarlet. Uh, and here's Cleo again. Yep. So this is like her character design page. I was coming up with like new ideas and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, I think her character design changed a little bit in like my uh, new sketchbook, but you know. Things change, you know? I, I'm indecisive. Artists are very indecisive people. Uh, this page was like, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, not much thought was put into this. I was going to go for like a futuristic kind of spread, but then I kind of gave up on the idea. So this is the only finished art that I have from there. And then after that, I just did this like on a paint sample that I had like a chunk of English doodles that I did. Um, cat doodle and little bunny doodles and Cleo again. But yeah, that's that's about it. <gasps> My bash spread, trigun spread. Ugh. Okay, this is like one of the spreads that I absolutely love, but I didn't finish obviously because you can see the arm isn't colored in nor is the 98 version of uh, Knives, but I still really, really love this page. It's like, I don't know, it's got so much color, so much, like, stuff, you know? It's got, boom, that wow factor for me. So, as you can see, I was very, very hyper fixated <laughs> on the Trigon series. Um, a lot of people recommend, when uh, Trigon Stampede came out, a lot of people recommended that, um, I watched the original 98 version and I did and honestly I feel like I like the 98 version a lot more because it like fits my style of humor but the dragon stampede oh it's so good so like the plot uh, plot story writing um animation effects lighting everything like just how it all ties into each other absolutely love it it's one of my favorite <laughs> this little kitty doodle that I did in the corner cute anyways next page uh this was supposed to be like a painting that i never finished um so it's supposed to be a kid sitting on a subway train but you know unfinished stuff is allowed uh random brain dump page funny story about this coca-cola <laughs> league of legends label i actually asked like a camp not a camp counselor um uh, well basically our school went on like a week-long outdoor trip and one of the um leaders in that outdoor trip when we were on our way back got a coca-cola bottle from the gas station and immediately we saw that it was a league of legends coca-cola bottle label and i'm like i want it and guess what i got it it's a funny funny story and a very funny inside joke for me and my friends <laughs> Oh, this is one of my favorite. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. You might have seen my pajamas there. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is, this is especially when it starts getting really, really good. Um, this page and the next page consecutively, top tier. Love them to bits. Um, but yeah, this is like a bunch of doodles that I got. Uh, got like a letter, so I doodled on the paper, and stuck it on here. Napkin art, more kit with some Tame Impala lyrics. <laughs> and uh, another doodle of Ava. I don't like this one as much, but you know, it's fine. It's fine, it adds texture. And then a friend gave me like another half of a CD that she had like broken. And so I stuck it onto my sketchbook and uh, made art out of it. So yeah, we can move on. Uh, this page, graphic design is my passion. Funny because I got these like collage um, paper from that graphic design class because we have like traditional stuff in there too. It's not just digital. So yeah, I was able to make like a collage on my sketchbook. Found some dog pictures, stuck them in there because I thought they would fit. And honestly, the magenta theme is on point. I really love this magenta theme. You can like flip this over, it's like a little butterfly. 
and everything. But <laughs> I ironically wrote Lana Del Rey lyrics here because I'm like, wouldn't it be like so coquette or whatever? <laughs> so jokingly, I wrote Lana Del Rey lyrics here. But still, really nice page. I absolutely love how it came out. I actually made a temporary tattoo design out of this one, but I'll, I'll show that later. Oh yeah, um, so there, these are some figure drawing studies that I did, um, sorry for not warning you earlier <laughs> if you're sensitive to this kind of thing, but honestly, I don't do that many, like, graphic stuff in my sketchbook, so you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, this is just, like, a bunch of random doodles that I, like, put on a single page. My friend drew these three, I drew the feet, um. This is like a redraw from my very first sketchbook that I had since like fourth grade. It was like a drawing of like this, I think it was an Attack on Titan um, costume, like an OC and like an Attack on Titan costume. So I redrew it and I actually really like how it came out. But yeah, figure drawing studies, not that interesting. Just a bunch of random doodles, you know, overall. Uh, this page, okay, so Remember when I didn't finish that other drawing with the full spread? Yeah, well, I kind of made up for it here. Um, so I just drew like this new character because I, I noticed I don't draw characters with like long, voluptuous, frilly and curly hair. And I really wanted to do that. So I ended up doing that. And I actually really, really like how it came out. I always use mixed media because obviously I don't have like, a lot of markers and stuff so I just work with what I have but because of that honestly I feel like this came out really really well um like a list of materials that I use and a couple of like little washi tape stamps that a friend gave me they're really cute I haven't watched Jujutsu Kaisen but I just thought they were really cute so I just put them in my sketchbook um this page not much to say just the character Icarus I'll talk about him later that's um lore it's a lore spoiler, so yeah. This is really bad. I'm gonna skip that. Uh, my OC Scarlet. This is like a full spread of him. This is like a page uh, full of like lore for him, but not really like writing. More just in drawing form. So these are like his parents, uh, his dad, his mom, him as a kid. Um, I found this on a Pinterest reference. Uh, so it was like originally another artist drew Rengoku riding a horse or something, but in like an, a samurai outfit, I think. And I really, really liked the pose, so I decided to use my OC Scarlet in it. So yeah, that's that's where it's referenced off. Um, a drawing of my OC Scarlet, and then Scarlet with Kit. Um, these two are on my Instagram, I think. Yeah, they're on my Instagram. Um, I practiced drawing foxes here. And this is another post that um, I did on my Instagram. Uh, okay, I'm gonna skip these three pages because they're like personal pages and really bad. <laughs> so this one's like a paper dump page basically. Like I didn't know what to do. I was like getting anxiety because like I was this close to finishing my sketchbook. So I think this is where I was like just smashing like and pasting everything that i hadn't been able to paste before onto this page so school doodles a bunch of like papers that i never glued on here random characters um yeah just a bunch of stuff that i wasn't able to i think my favorite part is like this these picture things so it had like clear plastic but you can still see the photos underneath which i thought was really cool And uh, my painting page. So I did like a painting based off the same sticker that I had like right there in that corner. So yeah, it's the same character as this one. And I didn't know what to do. This, this page is kind of like a 50-50. Like one really nice painting here and then just random doodles here. But yeah, um, haven't really created a story for this um, character.
character, but I really want to because it's, it's a really fun character. I've never had an astronaut character before, so I was thinking of experimenting with it. Uh, my Hanako page, uh, this is all graphite, so I'm being really careful not to smudge it even more. Obviously, it looked nice and clean before, but now it's all smudged. But I really, really like how it came out. I even scanned it and like printed it and put it on my wall because I liked it so much. So sorry for the background noise. I live like on a main street, so you'll hear some cars throughout this whole thing. But yeah, uh, so I drew Hanako. Uh, I forgot his name. I think it was the teacher guy. <laughs> I don't know. And Minnie. Love Minnie. She's adorable. And then the Moke. Cool candy. Flowers in the corner. And a little Hanako. Um, print out. And then I was gonna draw Sukasa, but um, it didn't work out, so I just like completely ditched the project. This is like a little doodle I did from like a long time ago. And I just like found it and glued it in my sketchbook. This page is absolute chaos. There's uh, so much going on, so I don't think I'll be able to touch on, on everything, but here are a few of my favorite ones. This is a favorite, um, my OC Alice that you saw earlier, but like in a more realistic style. Uh, Kanata Izumi from uh, Lucky Star. Random character, random character, little cat. Lots of random poems. Like I do a lot of writing in my sketchbook because uh, I feel like it adds to like the aesthetic, you know? So aesthetic. <laughs> but um, yeah, I feel like writing in your sketchbook is a really nice way to fill space. Why is he starry again? Um, and another silly cat. Um, so I'm reviving like a dead OC here. Not dead as in like canonically dead, more like I haven't like drawn or mentioned this character since like the fourth grade. A lot of these characters are from fourth grade, which um, sadly I haven't even gotten to all of them. That's how many OCs I made in fourth grade. I was the OC goat in fourth grade, but I digress. Um, so yeah, just a bunch of uh, OC doodles. Um, clearing up the story for my OC Winnie, who's like a deer um, farm girl, basically. I like how the spread came out. I like the flowers. I have not really much how the art came out, but you know, I did my best. And this page like folded really weirdly, so I was getting kind of annoyed about that. And yeah. Oh yeah, this page. It's kind of like a little, little event page. Not really. Just in the fields, you know. So this is like a self-portrait. I'm not doing face reveal, but this is as close as you'll get to a self-portrait. Um, but yeah. And then, uh, I think I was trying to draw Scaramouche from memory, but like, I don't know. I don't remember if I like did it correctly. That's, that's it for that one. Yeah, just me hugging a little plush and just like a bunch of text. That's it. Oh yeah, I literally ripped this page in half, by the way. Because I was like, you know, symbolism and like, creative. But you can't really tell, honestly, that I ripped the page until you like, fold it. And it's like, completely ripped. Um, this page, I don't really like that much, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. Random sticky note doodles. Uh, another graphic design assignment that we had. We had to recreate uh, any artist, like, any famous artist. Uh, style so i chose mika pikachu who i think is an, a twitter artist but i think i recently found their instagram so not sure which one but yeah skip uh this page i actually really like it a lot i noticed i've been doing like a lot of self-portraits in the last few pages don't know why but just decided to um so yeah just stuck a bunch of stuff here a little self-portrait this was made with um Crayola color pencils. Yeah, I don't have prisma colors. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm broke. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, just a bunch of random doodles. Uh, again, writing. You know, my writing tends to like just be the first thing that comes up to my mind. Um, I'll read you this one. Turn off your lights, world. I wish to see the stars. At least a glimpse flickers a sign. Yeah, things sound better in my brain. They sound so emotional, so so poetic in my mind. But then when I write them, it's like, oh, okay, what does this mean? <laughs> but uh, yeah, an old drawing I just stuck here. A little 
flip the thing out, like a little thing that flips out. So I just put a little drawing here. This was a comic book cover from like a comic book that I got in like sixth grade. I never read it. I just really liked how colorful and pretty the cover was. So I just stuck it on here. But yeah. Oh, this page. Okay. So I think this is like second to last page. Um, so I think there was like a food festival at our school, at my school. And uh, this is basically what they had. Uh, they had a lot of like different foods from like different cultures so you were able to like go to all the booths and try all the food and honestly all the food that i tried was like really really good and i actually really really enjoyed it so fun really good time so i decided to document it because i don't do any like realistic stuff in my sketchbooks that often so i feel like documenting my life here would be like a little better so as you can see what i ate um we had they had black culture japanese food korean food jewish food uh, Latina food, which I helped, and uh, Middle Eastern and Filipino food. So yeah, and in the Korean booth, they were giving out choco pies. <laughs> so I took a choco pie, and uh, I think I was given more later on. So I took some home, I, I ate one, and then I decided to stick it in my sketchbook. And I'm like, you know what? This would be a great way to practice character design. So I did. I made a little chocolate pie boy based off the wrapper and all that kind of stuff. Really like how he came out. He's so adorable. Ah, so cute. A little bow tie, little messenger, messenger kid, little buckle. There's my Instagram right there. Very inspired by uh, this one artist, um, Vares, who's on YouTube and I think also on Instagram. Really love um, their work. So beautiful. So I think I was kind of like copying not copying but i was really inspired by them and the last page um not much to say about this stuck a random book page from like a book i read in like seventh grade i think i think it was the outsiders it was like this book about like a gang of kids or whatever and they had us read that in seventh grade for some reason um i think one of them dies and then there's one called pony boy i forgot <laughs> completely forgot the story which is why i ripped out the page from the book and just called it a day. Uh, draw a little bird, a uh, random kit school doodle. And this was originally supposed to be like a drawing of the main villain for my story. Um, but it, di it didn't end up looking like him at all. So I just ended up drawing this random guy at a tea party. Uh, because why not, you know? I was gonna do a border with like little details and all that kind of stuff. But as you can see, I was impatient. I was at like, the last page of my sketchbook basically but i'm like you know what i'm done that's it i'm not gonna work on it anymore and ta-da he me gouache um just so happened to get gouache at the end of the sketchbook so i didn't get to test it out in the sketchbook at all except for this page but you know i just like opened them and whatever was left on like the little um uh, label thing i just like spread it on here I think it came out pretty nice. It's very colorful. And da, 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 my ending page. Yay! <laughs> I didn't put much effort into this whatsoever. I'm just like, I want to finish the sketchbook. I want to be done. Let's just call it a day. And I did. So yeah, that's that's the end of my sketchbook and the swatch page. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for my 2022-2023 random sketchbook. Very thick, very um, long journey that I had to go through to fill this. But overall, I'm very satisfied with how this is gonna, this how this ended up. So hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully, I'll be able to make a sketchbook tour on the one that I'm working on right now. As you can see, it's getting a little thick. So hopefully, I'll be able to finish it sometime soon. But uh, yeah. Have a wonderful rest of your day or have a wonderful night, depending on where you are. Bye!